Hello, I'm Paul Bowman. I'm Director of Postgraduate Research here in the School of Journalism, Media and Cultural Studies. And in the school we normally have between 40 and 50 PhD researchers carrying out research on themes such as gender and feminism, journalism and news media, new technologies, popular culture, cultural politics, audience and fan research and so on. Uh, we decided to put together a short video asking a few of these PhD researchers what they enjoyed about their time in Cardiff University and we started by asking them what they enjoy most about their research. What I've enjoyed the most is exploring various television shows in relation to um, how they fit in with kind of institutional policy. Um, so looking at things like how um, the generic construction of Doctor Who relates to um, certain issues regarding the BBC and public service broadcasting. I think the most enjoyable part was being with other PhDs in JOMEG and in other departments because I get to learn with them. For instance, here in JOMEG we have the PhD seminars, so that's um, student-led. So we get to talk about topics which concern all of us. So I think you know these opportunities for us to get together and talk about our interests has been really, really interesting. I quite like the whole process really of starting off with um, say a topic or th theory and then building on ideas and developing them and, and doing the research and then seeing it all come together as a product at the end. I find that quite rewarding. The other thing which is I really enjoyed here is uh, my relationship with my supervisor. Uh, I had really a good relationship with him, you know, in terms of discussing ideas and comments. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, we, we had a bit of disagreement, uh, you know, about uh, comments, about corrections, about, but at the end it was really worth it, you know. I like the school's research environment because um, PhD students are included um, as part of projects. They quite often work on projects uh, led by um, other members of staff. So I was able to look at um, devolution and the, uh, the media coverage of devolution in the UK. And um, I've also been able to work on a project about um, representations of black youth in the British media and black role models. From my perspective, it's, uh, it's a highly diverse research environment. Um, the kind of wide categories of PhDs that there are um, certainly makes for interesting kind of little avenues of things, but it's also kind of finding the different ways in which um, your research overlaps with people's in ways that you perhaps wouldn't have considered. Um, first of all, I mean, sometimes it's, you wouldn't immediately um, note the similarities between a uh, piece of research into say newspapers and journalism and something I'm doing um, in relation to television but when you see and learn that people are using kind of similar theoretical approaches um, or discussing similar topics um, it's nice to kind of bounce ideas off of other PhD students and other members of staff in the department who are always very willing to kind of offer their uh, feedback on what it is that you're looking at. So we have at least one research project every year so PhDs get to work on that project. So for instance, I was able to do a bit of work with a recent project. So I'm very impressed that we're constantly doing something here in JOMEC. You get quite a good opportunity, not only to build your research profile and have experience as being a researcher, but the topics you cover are diverse and therefore it, it opens up your fields of interest and also your fields of expertise. I particularly love the city. Um, as far as cities go, Cardiff is not a very big one. And that in itself presents, um, I, I think it presents a very unique appeal because it, it, it has a cozy, my living room feeling. Uh, you could probably walk around the whole city in a day if you knew how to walk. Uh, and that, that, that is lovely, that is, that is fantastic. The people are warm, they're loving, they're friendly. Um, I never miss home, this feels like home away from home. Um, when I was looking for a university here, because it was on a fellowship, right, it was a Ford Foundation fellowship, and um, it was a leading Filipino academic who recommended Cardiff, and I thought, okay, so I did a bit of research, and she helped me 
you know, find out about other universities here in the UK. And when I found out that, yes, Cardiff is, you know, Cardiff Journalism School is one of the best in the UK, I decided to apply and I was accepted. Before I thought of my PhD, I, uh, I did my master's here, my MA in international journalism in 2005. And, uh, b but before I graduated, you know, I wanted to, to, to continue my, uh, my higher education, you know, at Cardiff University because I did really like the department. Cardiff has a lot of opportunities for international students. Well, I was actually surprised, you know, the last two years when I was given the opportunity to teach, to lead them seminar groups. So I think that was very, very good because in other um, universities, I think um, it's very difficult for international students to be given that opportunity. So uh, in, you know, in terms of opportunities and support for foreign students, I think Cardiff has a lot to offer. Because I think that doing a PhD could actually be quite an isolating, um, difficult experience. Uh, in some ways, because it's it's one piece of work for a long time, it's difficult and there's ups and downs. But if you're in a department where you've got lots of support from supervisors, um, lots of other PhD students that have that you have a lot of contact with, um, and you're part of a a positive setup as a part of a decent team, then it makes the whole process of writing a PhD much more enjoyable and much less isolating. Uh, the staff is really helpful. Uh, you, will never, you will never feel like students. You will live, you, you're just one of, one of the staff, you know, and you want, you want to give everything you can to the university, to the department. So I think uh, your research, you know, but, you know but your supervisor will, will, will help you. Your research will go, you know, uh, very well. Uh, that's what happened not just with me, but with other students. So they are satisfied with the facilities, they are satisfied with the, the technology uh, they are provided here. And uh, uh, yeah, what I can say more, just, just go ahead and good luck. <laughs> the depth of resources that there are in Cardiff, so that, by that I mean kind of like access to um, equipment, the kind of like research um, materials that you have available here already um, is much greater than some other institutions that I've studied at. I was aware that there was a good PhD community here, but I really never thought that I would make as many kind of very close and very good friends as I have done uh, whilst doing my PhD in the department. I would say that the PhD um, in itself is a very challenging um, process. It's, it's, it's quite a, an undertaking for anyone. And, and you find that it's not about how intelligent you are as much as it is how tenacious you are and how driven you are and how, um, how, how interested you are in what you do. And even when you put all that together, intelligence, hard work, tenacity, um, you still need a lot of support and you still need um, that feeling of I'm not alone in this. And that's what you get. Um, in Cardiff University, particularly here where I'm at, at the School of Journalism. I think, you know, the last three years that I've been here, it's, to be honest, it's been life-changing because I've, you know, I've learned so much about myself and other people and it's just amazing, you know, what you can get out of an, out of an, this kind of experience where you're in a, you're a foreign student in an international university, it's just amazing. I'd say ups and downs on the research side but there's always light at the end of the tunnel and it's always enjoyable and uh, I'm pleased I've done it. It's been challenging but it's been fun. I'd say it's been it's been awe-inspiring it's um, it's far 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 more fulfilling than I could possibly have imagined.